What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Google AI Studio, the Google Gemini API. All links and useful information, including chat and structured prompt examples, will be in the description below. So first off, head to ai.google.dev slash AI Studio. From here, sign into Google AI Studio with your Google account. You might need to consent to a legal notice if it's your first time trying it out. Once logged in, you will see the Get API Key button on the top left. Click on this to create your new API key. This key is essential for creating new projects or adding API keys to existing projects. You will also find information about the pay-as-you-go pricing structure of the Gemini API. Click on the provided link to view all pricing details, which are currently quite reasonable and more affordable than OpenAI's pricing structure. Back in Google AI Studio, click on Create API Key. Ensure that no one else can access this API key and avoid sharing it through your code or other projects. You will have the option to create a new API key for a new project or to select an existing project. Select Create a new project for this guide. After creating your API key, explore the prompt gallery to get inspired by what Google AI Studio can do. Here, you will see a list of prompt ideas for the Gemini API. Select one, such as Sentiment Analysis. You will see the name of the text prompt at the top, with system instructions below. These are additional instructions on how you want the model to behave, extract or output information. For example, you can ask the model to reply with a specific length, such as a sentence, word count or a whole article. You can also request it to respond in a specific tone, language, interpret information differently, or avoid certain words. Get creative with the system instructions as the model usually adheres to them. On the right side of your screen, you will see the run settings for your model. First, choose between the Gemini models, then review the token count for your request. This estimate helps you understand how many tokens will be used if you run the prompt multiple times, such as thousands of times. Below, adjust the temperature of the model's output. A lower number means the model will stick closely to your rules, while a higher number allows for more creativity and flexibility. If you plan on automating these requests, keep the temperature quite low, around 0.2 or 0.3. Test your prompt with different temperature levels, to see how it affects the output. You can also add a stop sequence or change the default safety settings, though these should not significantly impact most users. Now you can start writing your prompt. In this example, I will copy and paste a text into the sentiment analysis chat. As I change the system instructions and input my request, you can see the token count change. After running the model, the token count increases slightly. You will also notice a small stopwatch indicating how long the request took. In the dialog box, you can upload files, folders, audio and images relevant to your request. This will increase the token count per request. For image interpretation or working with files, consider using Google Drive access via Google AI Studio. This allows Gemini to locate and upload a folder from your Google Drive without manual uploads. This method also works with Google Sheet files saved in your Google Drive. Additionally, you can tune a model from an existing structured prompt or create one by importing it via Google Drive. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.